Hi, I'm Dan Thompson, Senior Product Manager for IGUS Energy Chains, and we're here today to address some frequently asked questions relating to part number identification of various IGUS products. Customers replacing worn out energy chains will ask us how to take the part numbers off of the energy chain that they have and turn it into a top level part number that can be used for ordering. We're going to go over that for our E2, E4, and E6 style energy chains. In general, an energy chain part number is going to be made up the same way across all products and consists of a series name, a width, and a bending radius. Starting with our E2 style chains, these are going to be the easiest ones to identify. E2 stands for a two-piece link, and the full part number for ordering will be molded directly into the part. So in this case, we have E2.15.30.038. So we have a series name of E215. The 30 stands for a 30 millimeter width, and the 038 stands for a 38 millimeter bending radius. That part number can be read directly off of the chain and used for ordering. Another example here, we have 68.075.100. So we have a series name of 68. 075 stands for a 75 millimeter width and the 100 stands for a 100 millimeter bending radius. Again, that part number can be read directly off of the part and used for ordering. Next up, we have our E4 style energy chains. These are going to be slightly more complicated to identify. On our newer E4 series energy chains, we have what we call a common and radius design. So we have an oval shaped link, which is going to be common to all sizes. And this hourglass shaped link will set the bending radius, and this will vary depending on whatever the bending radius of the chain is. The third piece will be the crossbar, which will vary in width. So this system is a four piece link that's very modular and can result in a number of different sizes. To turn this into a single top level part number for ordering, the first part number to gather is going to be the common link E4Q.58.01. The next part number to gather will be this radius link E4Q.58.02.135. That 135 at the end will stand for a 135 millimeter bending radius. And then finally on the crossbar, we have C1132.100. That 100 will stand for a 100 millimeter width. Putting this together into a top level part number for ordering will give us E4Q.58.100.135. Feel free to just gather those three part numbers, call into IGUS, and we'll help you assembling a top level part number that can be used to order an assembled piece of chain. On our older series of E4 style chains, they don't use the common radius design. They have a dedicated left and a dedicated right side link. So if we look at the part numbers on this part here, we have 2828.01.100, 2828.02, 2828.03.100, so to put this together into a top level part number, we'll have 2828.10.100. Finally, we have our E6 style energy chains. These are going to be identified very similar to the E4 series here. So on our newer style E6 chains, they also use the same common radius design. So we have E6129.01, E6129.02.055, and then on the crossbar, 2105.030. Putting this together into a top level part number, we'll give E6129.030.055. Our older style E6 chains function in the same way as our older style E4 chains in that they have a dedicated left, dedicated right link connected by a crossbar. So we have E6.29.01.055, E6.29.02.055, and 2105.050. Putting that together into a full part number, we're going to have E6.29.050.055. As always, feel free to just gather the component numbers and call into us at IGUS, and we'll be happy to help you assemble a top level part number. Final thing to mention is that IGUS energy chains are typically used with a set of end brackets, which terminate the end of the run of chain and allow you mounting holes to fasten the chain to your machine. So if you are replacing the energy chain and you'd also like to replace the brackets, just let us know and we'll be happy to help you out with the bracket part number as well. Energy chains are priced by the foot, 
but we can sell them to you and calculate a length in any unit of measure you like. So whether it's links, inches, feet, just figure out the three, the component part numbers from the piece that you're replacing, how much of it you need, and we'll be happy to help you. Any questions, feel free to call us here at our Rhode Island headquarters or reach out to your local IGUS TSM for further assistance. Thanks for watching. Thank you.